hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the warm time preset and let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i downloaded the couple of image from unsplash.com for the example purpose so i'm going to the file and open up i just opening up another image which is a raw type image that means non-edited image and this image i downloaded from the unsplash.com and i'll provide you this image download link for your practice purpose in my video description please check it out press ctrl or command j or you can drag this layer by dragging here plus sign you will get another copy of this background layer so after that i'll go to the filter and camera filter so camera filter is another plugins plugins means which is a subsidy or which is the supporting tools which has the extra things from apart like uh, photoshop so this one camera 13.0.2 that means this one is updated version and please check out my video description for your or download link and this one is very similar to the lightroom lightroom classic and uh, those who are used that applications that means the lightroom you will get the similarities of that we'll find out here three dots which is the load settings options and here i made some preset which is uh, like the moody warm type and load it up so i made it for you guys and i'll provide you that download link in my video description so please check it out so what i just given the settings in this preset let's see here the temperature that is plus six and tint plus eight this temperature is like the warm light that's why the preset name is warm and the exposure zero zero and contrast plus 46 and the highlight minus 41 shadow minus 28 so this shadow i made it down just because of the moody tone is like shadow and highlight that is the prominent issues that's why i made the shadow down and the highlight as well and here the vibrance that is the color like contrast just made it like minus 15 and the saturation plus one that's good here is the curves option curves is like that the upper side is light and the downside is the shadow so here i locked up in middle point which is the input value 1 and output value 15 and here input value 66 and output value 559 and here the input value which is uh, 197 190 input value 178 and output value 167 and input value 255 and output value 250 and this one is the rgb options and here is the red green and blue the separated options uh, in this curve if you go to the upper side it will be red type and if you go to the like downside it will be like a uh, cyan type and upper side it will be green and the downside it will be purple so magenta whatever it is so in the detail portion i made the sharpening 28 the noise reduction 47 and no color noise reduction 31 that's good the color mixture three things hue saturation luminance the most important thing for photo editing or graphic design hue which color will be defined with the hue belt here the red start the pink and ends in a orange and orange start in a red and just ends in a like yellow so this type of belt is called the hue which color will be defined with these things saturation is the percentage of the color how percentage will be the color and the luminance the intensity of the color hue for the red zero and saturation if i go to the all options you will get the hue saturation luminance all the stuff so in the hue red zero orange minus seven yellow minus 24 green plus 38 aqua plus 100 blue plus three and rest of the thing is zero and the saturation i made plus 61 and the orange plus four and minus 45 yellow i made the down yellow saturation that means the intensity that's why you are getting the uh, cool or like a soft type uh, warm tone and minus green 30 minus 30 actually green and rest of the thing is zero and the luminance intensity i made the intensity red plus 49 orange plus 36 and yellow plus 42 and green plus 4 and magenta plus 23 that's good the color grading most important thing which is like in 2021 uh, for the color grading here sometimes you didn't get this slider if you press the triangle you will get the slider here the shadow mid tone and like highlight so shadow this darker portion is shadow and the mid tone is non darker a little bit darker portion those are the mid tone and the highlight 
the full lightening area is the highlight so which color will be or uh, you can put color on that three things in a shadow portion in a mid-tone portion and the highlight portion you can put color and this color bit defines the color which one will be and here in the shadow portion i'm selecting the shadow here the value of the shadow is 260 that means the color of the um, 260 and the percentage of the color that means saturation 6 and here the mid-tone mid-tone color code is 98 and the saturation 8 that means uh, percentage of the color is 8 and the highlight you are getting the 95 and the saturation 17 that's good optics geometry effects i didn't use that and the calibration most another most important thing just because of you are getting three primary colors over here and uh, the red primary hue that is uh, plus 5 and the saturation uh, plus 11 and the hue plus 18 and the hue of the blue primary minus 11 and plus 35 so you have the assumption to change those things according to your photography light and stuffs so i'll suggest you to download the preset and when you are applying in your photographs just please do correction or do according to change of your photo so and hit the ok button you're getting the before and after options so you have another assumption if you go to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 so this one is another plugins to add some filters in the photographs i do love that just because of lots of and bunch of preset over there and i'll provide you these plugins download link in my video description so here i'm using the cross processing my favorite one and lots of method over here so from here l02 l03 those are nice uh, i personally use l02 and here is the strength option that means how percentage will be the effects so 20 or 21 is good for me and hit the ok button you'll get little bit change but that is the vital point for the photography just because of a uh, little bit change is uh, making more sense in a photography and uh, the light sense so here the before and after actually if i go to the main options the before one the ordinary nice image but after adding the color like one type color it's now perfect so hope that you learn a lot from this video no more today so I'm ASMR signing out and keep me in your prayers. Stay safe, stay at home. Bye-bye.